types of plants. Children, in this video, today we are going to discuss about different types of plants. Look at this picture. This is a picture of a garden. Here we can see different types of plants. Yes children, we see a huge varieties of plants around us. Do they all look the same? No, there are different varieties of plants and they are mainly classified based on certain features including appearance, shape, height and size. So plants are of different types, shapes and sizes. Do you know children? Plants are living things. Plants grow everywhere. Plants need water, soil, air and sunlight to survive and grow. But plants cannot move from place to place. Some plants grow on land, some plants grow in water and some plants grow in hilly areas and desert areas as well. So there are basically five types of plants. They are trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. So let's discuss about all types of plants one by one. These are trees. Trees are big and tall plants. They have very thick, woody and hard stem called trunk. This is trunk. The life span of trees are very large. Some example of trees are apple tree, mango tree, orange tree, banyan tree, etc. Next, herbs. Herbs are very short sized plants with soft, delicate and green stem. They can stand upright. They have a short lifespan. Some example of herbs, mint plant, spinach, coriander, etc. Next, shrubs. Shrubs are medium sized woody plants, taller than herbs and shorter than a tree. They are bushy plants. Shrubs have hard and woody stems with thin branches. Some examples of shrubs rose plant, hibiscus, tulsi, etc. Next, climbers. Climbers are the plants that have a very thin, long and weak stem which cannot stand upright. They need some support to grow straight. Some examples of climbers money plant, grapevine, pea plant, etc. Now let's move on to the creepers. Creepers are the plants that creep on the ground. They have very fragile, long, thin stems that can neither stand upright nor all its weight. They crawl and creep as they have big 
and heavy fruits. Some examples of creepers, watermelon plant, pumpkin plant, etc. So these are different types of plants. Children, let's recall one more time. How many types of plants are there? There are basically five types of plants. These are trees, herbs, shrubs, climbers, and creepers. So we can identify different plants by their flowers, leaves, fruits, and trunks. As every plant has different leaves, trunk, stem, flowers, and fruits. The children, we are going to discuss about uses of plants. Plants make our world beautiful. Plants are very essential and useful to us. Plants are vital to life on earth. All living things are directly or indirectly dependent on plants. We get many things from plants. Plants produce oxygen that other living things breathe. Plants keep the air fresh and clean. Plants provide food for people and animals like vegetables, fruits, cereals, pulses, etc. Plants provide cotton, oil, shelter, wood, and many other necessities of life like medicine, paper, rubber, coffee beans, etc. People also use flowers for decoration. So children, human beings use plants in countless ways. Children, let's recall the uses of plants through an activity. What do we get from plant? We get oxygen, food, cotton, wood, medicine, rubber, perfume, etc. Right? So let's paste one by one. Cotton. We get cotton from plant. We get wood from plant. We get medicine from plant. We get rubber from plant. We get cereal or pulses from plant. We get perfume from plant. So these are the things we get from plants. And we get many more necessities of life from plants like oxygen, shelter, paper, etc. So plants are an important part of nature. We should not cut plants. We should take good care of them and we should grow many plants. So friends, if you want more videos like this, then please drop your valuable suggestion in your comment box. And don't forget to press subscribe button and bell icon to get regular updates. So thanks for watching video. Bye-bye.